Hi, my name is Ryan McNally and this is my 28th coaching log on the Uclan Coaching Experience Module. Uh, if you'll apologise, the poor voice, I'm not feeling too well. Um, today I'm going to talk about um, my UA for B experience. So I've just started my UA for B mod, uh, coaching course and obviously finished my first block and I'm obviously moving on to the second one at some point in the next month. But it gives me an opportunity to reflect on the first month and what I've learned and what I'm going to take forward into my own coaching practice. But kind of looking at the UA for B overall, um, I feel like it was a really beneficial experience for me those first three days because I got to meet new coaches and academy levels. Um, I got to go back and forwards with FA coach mentors who know a lot about the game and kind of pick their pick their brains about different ideas and concepts that I have and also kind of clarify what they're asking me and, you know, confide in them and being able to trust what they're saying and, and take it in myself. <clears throat> um, but today I'm going to look at kind of the experience I had. So the positives that I had, I'd probably say that networking with other people was really, really big for me. Obviously, we went as a group from Preston North End, there was five of us. But we got to meet coaches from Blackpool, Liverpool, Prest, uh, Chester, Morecambe, Accrington, you know, loads of local academies. So it was really good to kind of get to know people and give people phone numbers and emails, you know, for opportunities that may come up in the future. Um, and I feel like that is really crucial in itself to develop a network because the bigger your network is, the more opportunities may come forward to you. Another positive was kind of confirming knowledge that I've learned on my university course. So different coaching methods, different learning styles that we cover, kind of reinforce my education through my university course. I'd also say that another positive was trying new things. So I got to lead a session where I was, mic where I was mic'd up on a microphone and also being videoed. So it gave me a really good opportunity to reflect. But also trying new coaching styles and new sessions and new ideas with different people and different age groups is really, really beneficial. The next thing I'm going to look at is the learning experiences I took from it. Um, I feel like understanding the way different coaches think was something that I learned a lot about. Some people have to, you know, note everything down. Some have to you know, physically do the session. Others just observe and, and get the session. Um, and that can be translated into players as well. As we know very well, they've got learning different learning styles. Some are kinesthetic, some are visual, some are audi auditorial. And I feel like recognising that, that I need to cater to all these different learning styles is, is quite a, a, a reality check for me. And trying to make sure I do that throughout my sessions from now on. Um, I'd probably say another learning experience was kind of developing my tactical knowledge of the game. There's a lot more tactical emphasis now and and developing all four corners of the game um, in tandem with each other, in sync with each other. And learning to do that process by process, obviously it starts at the basic level, but building them up equally is, is just as important as developing the player. <clears throat> Uh, looking at some opportunities to reflect, definitely when I got to hear and um, hear and see myself coaching in detail, was really really stood out to me. You know, it it was crucial that I did that in a way that I can now see that I do this every week. This key topic, but I don't know if I'm doing it right. So that point, that chance that I got to look at it and observe it from a third person view was really beneficial and I see if I'm doing it right or I can improve it in a different way. Um, kind of looking at some research done by Jones, Morgan and Harris in 2012 highlights that coach education courses are, are fine in theory um, but are divorced from the gritty realities of practice. Um, I couldn't agree more with this because I did my session, I did my Friday, Saturday, Sunday on my UA for B and then on the Wednesday the session was can, you know, almost the complete opposite of what you, of what is shown to you on a coach education course, because 
you're taken out of that reality bubble and you're just placed in it in a perfect world scenario. So you don't have to adapt to numbers or the ability of players. You know, you know what you're going to get. You're going to get 12 players on your UEFA B who are academy scholars. Whereas for my under sixes, I don't know if two of them are going to be ill and three of them have just woken up on a Sunday morning. It, it's working that fine balance between the realities of practice and the and the theory behind the opportunity the coach education courses but in conclusion my first book was a real real kind of standout for me and a real benchmark for how my progression should look from now on and I'm excited to reflect and review about it